third month of the year to Carlisle did come a gentle and a courteous child that knew much wisdom a tunic and a mantle this young child had on with brooches and ringers full richly be done he had a suit of eastern silk about his middle drawn and if he lacked in courtesy he thought of it much shame God speed thee King Arthur sitting at thy meat and the goodly Queen Guinevere I cannot her forget I have with me a mantle No lady can resist But it shall ne'er become that wife That hath once done amiss for if she be unfaithful, in tatters it shall fall. And if she be but honest, she'll brighten any hall. And first there came Queen Guinevere, for she should lead the way. And she was surely in great doubt, although she would not say. And then she took the mantle as if she'd been a maid. And suddenly from top to toe, it loosely fell in shreds. And then it colored bright as red, and then it colored green. And then it colored dark as black, so ill did her be seen. And then up spoke King Arthur, and angrier he grew. By all the knights of England, I think thou be not true. And she threw down the mantle for all the court to see, and blushed as red as roses, and to her room did flee. Sir Kay called forth his lady, and bade her to come near, and said, If thou be guilty, I pray thee all be there. And so forth came his lady, so bold she did appear, and likewise was embarrassed, and cried for all to hear. And likewise all the gentle knights who thought their wives most true Commanded them to try it on and bitterly did rue Sir Craddock was his name And all the knights of Arthur's court Of him had sport and game Win this mantle, lady And it shall all be thine And if thou ever did amiss The shame is therefore mine His lady took the mantle and cast it her about Bow down to me, good mantle And shame me not for now For once I did but one amiss 
I'll tell thee certainly For once I lay in Craddock's bed Before he married me When she had made confession And all her sins had told The mantle stood about her In bright array she stood So seemly of colour And glittering of gold Then all the knights of Arthur's court Her beauty did behold So Craddock stood in glory His lady proved true and all the knights of Arthur's court have surely got their due.